This book is absolute blasphemy. In any way you look at it, it is full blasphemy. This author, Helgerd Muller, we're going to talk about this book, Trump, the Son of Man, the Christ. Yeah, stick with me, guys. We'll get into it in less than 10 seconds. First, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Very important. Also, you please share the video. Help us get around the algorithms. Hit the bell. Subscribe. I wear the glasses because I'm blind. And as always, guys, if you could help donate here to my ministry, help support what I do, see more info in the description. Uh, people out there are just plain crazy, ladies and gentlemen. When you write books like this, well, it's on full display, at least for those with the brain to be able to figure it out. Helgerd Muller has written a book called President Donald John Trump, The Son of Man, The Christ. And according to an overview of the book, it states that, well, there are in fact not one, but two Christs that the Bible talks about. I didn't know this. I mean, I'm so glad there are people out there who can write these books to inform us of such developments with the Bible. I mean, I just, what would we do, guys? I really don't know. Now, he said the first Christ is Jesus, the Son of God, who was betrayed by Judas. But the second the second Christ is the Son of Man. So you see, if you thought Jesus was the Son of Man, you were wrong. That's never the way that Jesus intended you know, to interpret the Scripture. If that's what you thought, you guys were wrong this whole time. Don't worry. That's why Helgerd Muller is here for you in this new book. So the second Christ, the Son of Man, who is in fact Trump, who was... Betrayed as well, not by Judas, but by Mike Pence. <laughs> Although, that is true, uh, as far as the betrayal goes. But come on, the Son of Man, a second Christ. This is insanity here. And all throughout this book, because I took a look at the overview of it, and I'll put a link for you down below here in the description, getting into all the details here about how you know, Jesus and, and, and Trump, the two separate Christs that are working together, that will both be seated next to God, but Trump will be at the right hand of God and Jesus at the left side of God, where they will be together. And he goes on here to talk about the fact that, you know, there will in fact be a, you know, crucifixion even of the son of man but again that's not jesus okay this is going to in fact be donald trump there's more to say on this stick with me guys first if i could let me put a quick plug in for my patreon guys i gotta do this you know i get no monetization here this is the only way i have to let you guys know how you can help support me a blind content creator christian conservative who yt doesn't like plus guys if you only watch these videos through yt alerts you miss so much content because they barely push my notifications out. If you sign up on Patreon, you will be alerted for all the content that I put out. You can even leave comments on these videos there, censorship free. You don't have to worry about YT removing anything. You can even send me direct messages over there. Hey, if you prefer to go the route of PayPal, you can even help support in that way as well. All the links are down below. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so, thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. The Bible is very specific when it comes to the Son of Man. The Son of Man is not a second Christ. The Son of Man is, in fact, Jesus, the one and only true Messiah. Now, I will say this. There will be a sort of second Christ, but this will be the anti-christ that will arise the bible refers to him as the man of sin or the son of perdition or the beast that will arise out of the sea but this whole notion of the second christ is a false gospel that is being perpetuated here in this book by this author. 
plain and simple. The sad thing is that people are going to buy this book and they are going to believe this blasphemy. They are going to believe this heresy that's being spoke about here. There are not two Christs that work together for common good. There is the one who has already came and who had already laid his life down, was already crucified, but he's coming back again. Remember what the Bible says about how when it's referring to the end times, when you see all the events take place, it says to do what? Lift up your head. Look up, right? Lift up your head because what? Look up, when you see the sign of the, the, the coming of the Son of Man, lift up your head because your redemption draws nigh. That's Jesus. It's not Donald Trump. Okay? But the Antichrist will arise soon and will be a counter to everything it is that Jesus stands for. Anything else is a lie. Anything else is heresy, blasphemy, whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. And for those that are on full bandwagon here with this whole Trump thing and the red wave and all the red wave is going to save us. Look, let me, let me say something about the red wave really quick. Okay. Your red wave consists of Kevin McCarthy, Mitch McConnell. What else we got in that mix? Lindsey Graham. You really think those people are going to help this nation any? I don't think so. Nothing to be excited about. Oh, Dan Crenshaw? Oh, there's another one, right? I keep going. The only red wave that I care about, the only red wave that's going to fix anything is going to be the red wave of the blood of Jesus to wash over this nation of its sins if this nation will repent and come back to God, although I have my doubts on that. This nation may be too far gone. That's just my personal opinion. You may think differently, which is fine. Here's something else that many people may need to realize here. Trump, who is looked upon as a savior by many, including this author, Helgard Muller, very well could end up being arrested. And don't think for a second that, that can't happen. Remember, evil will have its time to run wild, for chaos to take place, because it has to happen. It's prophesied to happen here in the last days before the return of Jesus and the rise of the Antichrist. The Antichrist. So don't be surprised if that does in fact happen. Christians better look to Jesus. I'm telling you what, right? There is such deception. I'm tired of it. I'm getting real tired of it. This deception out there. To put your faith and hope in Trump or DeSantis. I, look, I don't even care what politician it is. Yeah, we're talking about Trump here because that's what's in this book. But if you set them up as your only hope, because I hear people say all the time, they're our only hope. You have discounted Jesus when you do that. How could he come and save a nation? Heal a land? If you're looking towards man for the answers instead of Christ. You better have a supernatural faith here in these last days. If you're going to endure until the very end. That means having the trust and the faith to believe that God will provide for you in ways that maybe you never thought capable. That your faith level was never capable of before. But you better start to think in that way. Because in these times that are coming up right now, look at everything that's going on right now. We have entire, you know, political parties are being deemed as such and such groups and being told that they should be taken out. Just wait until that shifts to Christians being the focus as enemies. Oh, that's coming. Oh, don't think it won't get happen in the United States as well. Okay. I've said enough for now. I'll put some more information here in the description about the book. You guys can let me know your thoughts about it. I'm not done just yet, though, as far as this video goes, because I don't ever leave any video, as you guys know, without giving people the opportunity to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Whether anybody watches this part of the video or not, if I can just get one to Christ, that's what's up. That's, that's all that matters. If I could just get one, that's still one more. 
that didn't make it previously. So I'd like to lead you in this prayer right now. It's a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. It's something that we all are, but the good news is this. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry and then you just jump right back in your old ways. No, it means to actually turn from sin. Those lifestyles, habits, things in your life which are not of the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord though and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then... You invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, I'll have more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.